So in the last video, we created our new event page and we added the functionality to add our events to local storage. So now what I want to do is back inside our homepage, I want to go ahead and clear this and then I want to go ahead and access local storage and then display the events that we're going to have in our homepage. So what I'm going to do is inside the app folder and inside this page.js, I'm just going to select everything and then remove it. And then I'm going to say RFC and then I'm going to change this to home so that now when I save it, then we should have some text that says home. And then let's go ahead and render out a fragment here. And then we're going to render out a section with a class of padding on the X of six and then a max width, max width of 6xl and an mx of auto and then save that and nothing's going to really happen on the screen but what you need to do now is we need to have a state value that is going to go ahead and hold the data that we're going to be getting from local storage and that means that we need to change this into a client component so use client and then we know that we are going to be using the use state hook so use state and then because we are going to access local storage we also need the use effect hook. So inside here, I'm going to create a new state value that is called event list, meaning all the events that we have in local storage. And then the set event event list function. And then this is going to be equal to use state. And by default, it's going to be an empty array. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my use effect hook. And then inside my use effect, I'm going to go ahead and pass in my callback function and an empty dependency array so that it only runs on the initial render. And then I'm going to say this. Remember how we, in the new event page, we did this? So we're going to do something similar. And so I'm going to say this. I'm saying const events is equal to json.pass. And then I'm going to go ahead and say local storage dot get item and i want to get item called events which we added in and then if events does not exist then i want to go ahead and add in my pipe right there and then add in my array and then once we do that then i'm going to say set event list into the events that we get back from local storage so let me just go ahead and say console log event list so event list which is our state value on top which should be populated once this runs because we are saying that populate it using the events that we get back from local storage. So save that and then let me go ahead and let's test this out to see whether it's working because I feel like there's a mistake somewhere. So we get an array of zero. Reload please. An array. That should be fine because it means that we, we have an item in local storage. So let's go ahead and add in something. Let's add in something here. And then now technically this should now say array one. So create new event. So it does that. And then let's go back into our homepage and it's still not showing anything. It's still not showing anything. I feel like there's a mistake right here. Hmm. Let's just continue building it out. We're going to encounter that mistake if, if it uh, happens to be anywhere. <laughs> So let's go ahead and do the following. Inside our return, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and return an h2 that says events. And then this is going to have a class name that says font dash bold text dash 4xl and text dash center and margin bottom of 8, which is going to place it right there. So events, let's shrink this to there. And then what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and render out my event list. So I want to check whether event list is populated or not. And then if it is populated, then I want to show the things that are populated. And if, if it is not, then I want to show a paragraph, which is like no events found. So I'm going to say if event list, uh, event list dot length is equal to zero, if this is true, then I want to go ahead and render a paragraph that says no events found. And then if it is not true, then I want to go ahead and render out a div. And then inside this div, we're going to render out our event list. This is event list, not events. 
so we're going to say event list dot map and then for every event that we're going to have oops what am i doing dot map and then for every event that we're going to have then we're going to go ahead and render out a div and then close it out and then this div is going to have a key of event.id remember how when we created the new event we also passed in the id so we can now access that id right here so the key is going to be event.id and then let's see the paragraph here is going to be styled as follows it's going to have a class name of text dash white and now let me say text neutral dash 600 and yeah that should be fine and then inside this div because i just want to see whether whether this is working at all and just render an h4 that says event dot name save that let's see what happens on the screen so i have that so see how this is coming from local storage and this is just like some dummy data so let's add something real so guards let's add it to this and then let's say google africa developer scholarship and then the event location is kenya the organizer is google so create new event and then back inside our home page now see that guard is now added so now let's tell this out properly so we're going to go back inside uh, our div right here and the div is going to be styled as follows it's going to have a class name of padding all round of four and rounded dash large and a border and a border dash neutral neutral dash 600 and then let's see save that let's see how it looks like so okay and not inside this div let's give this div a class name class name of grid and then it's going to have a gap of four and then for medium screens then the grid columns are going to be two and then for large screens then the grid columns are going to be three like so so one two three fantastic now let's tell us the h4 so for the h4 give it a class name of font dash bold did i use bold uh, it doesn't really matter for the styling but font bold and then now let's go ahead and continue to add in a bunch more items because below the h4 we need to give the description which is coming from event description and then below the description and you know what we need to have the location here as well so uh, sorry not location but the date so event date and then event description and then finally we're going to have a paragraph here that says location and then it's going to say event dot location and then we're going to have another paragraph that says organizer and then it's going to say event dot organizer save that and then let's see look at that look at what what we have fantastic now let's step this out to be a bit better what i want is this is going to be bold so let me place it inside a strong tag and then this is also going to be bold so place it inside a strong tag then now it is bold and then on uh, let's see on this two paragraphs and I, I probably should have used like a list item i think let's use a list item so li li and then here let's use li then grab this and place it inside the ul and then now inside this ul give it a class name and then let's say flex and flex dash wrap and then items dash center and then justify dash between and then a gap of four so we're going to have that so event organizer and then see how flex wrap is really useful because this text cannot fit here so it automatically goes into the next line and then because this can fit then it, it is also just aligned here so it's really useful now let's go ahead and tell the event date so give it a class name here of text neutral dash 800 and text small or rather extra small and then for the description give it a class name and then let's say text neutral dash 600 and text dash sm save that and we're going to have that oh too small too small i think uh huh. let's change this to text dash sm save that let's go inside this div let's say space dash y dash four just to separate out the elements in between 
and then this is too small let's make this 600 and then let's make this 400 i think that's better that is much much better and then for the location as well as this one so for these two list items give it a class name and then i'm going to say text dash small and then let's say text dash neutral dash 400 as well fantastic looking nice 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 now obviously it's not going to look like this uh, and you can try to add in a bunch more data so that this looks much better and it doesn't look ugly like this so that is going to be for the homepage, and in the next video we're going to begin to add in our booked events